गिरीश कर्नाड ने एक जगह कहा था कि नाटक यदि बच के चलेगा तो अपनी मौत को बुलावा देगा हालांकि उसका भविष्य संकट में दिखता है नाटक जिंदा रहेगा और उकसाएगा know him as a playwright as a film director and an actor i think perhaps in that order would you agree with that film? indeed so i i mean i consider myself primarily a playwright <clears throat> and then in films i hope a director first and then an actor i want to begin with just a few points about the ways in which Girish Karnad located himself in this thing we call Indian culture. First, language or languages. Girish not only knew several languages, he actually drew on the resources of these languages. So first, of course, his English was impeccable. He translated his plays from Kannada to English. But the important thing to note is that fluency in English didn't keep him from choosing his writing language, which was Kannada. And another important thing is that neither his writing language Kannada or his mother tongue Konkani kept him back from working with Hindi, Marathi, Telugu, and Malayalam. So here is a rather wonderful example of how in a multilingual <coughs> condition, the condition we live in, you can actually turn that into an advantage rather than a, a barrier. His work and his life actually had him straddling multiple cultural communities, all working in different languages. So people who come to mind, and I'm sure that the speakers will mention many more, the obvious, of course, Bibi Karanth, there's Bhagan Sarkar, there's Satya Dev Dubey, and then some of the younger filmmakers later, Girish Kasaravali, and so on. Then institutions and organizations later. Institutions, well, at the Film and Television Institute, he pushed for the establishment and consolidation of the new cinema movements of the 70s and 80s. At the Sangeet Natak Academy, he took an unpopular stand and criticized the fact that classical dance is so Brahminized and actually pushed for an award for contemporary dance. In the Nehru Center, he pushed for greater spaces for Indian arts and literatures. The recurring phrase is pushed for. और कुछ उत्सव धर्मी सा रंगमंच बन गया था उस समय गिरीश कर्नाड ने विजय तेंदुलकर मोहन राकेश और बादल सरकार के साथ एक प्रश्नवाचक रंगमंच स्थापित करने में एक ऐसा रंगमंच जो आपको प्रसन्न कम करता था बेचैन ज्यादा करता था ऐसा रंगमंच बनाने में एक भूमिका निभाई और मेरे हिसाब से वो प्रश्नवाचकता उनके पूरे चलती रही गिरीश कर्नाड ने आधुनिकता का परंपरा से एक रंग संवाद शुरू किया और जैसा कि अभी कहा गया उन्होंने दोनों पक्ष जो हैं परंपरा में जो मिथक हैं और परंपरा में जो इतिहास और उसकी जो अंतर्ध्वनियाँ हैं उनका आधुनिकता के लिए पुनराविष्कार किया वो एक ऐसे संस्कृति कर्मी के रूप में उभरे जिसके पास एक सजग और चौकन्ना अंतकरण था उनको असल में याद करने का तरीका यही होगा कि इस तरह से ए काइंड ऑफ ए कॉमराडरी ऑफ क्रिएटिविटी करेज एंड कॉन्शंस रिमेन एक्टिव एंड डायनेमिक एंड वोकल and continues to grow 
in spite of the impediments that are obviously there. Beware of my silence. It is heavier than speech. A ceaseless river in search of a new earth like my Basavas Vachanas. Beware of my words. They can change the wind's directions. Restore to life every buried truth. Turn every pavement stone into gold and every scavenger into a saint. Beware of my magic. It can transform your bullets into garlands for my master until he dances with your skulls over your ashes in the burning ground. I will lend my voice to words your lexicons had silenced. I will name planets that were never in your orbit. I will create new laws for a new country none has seen where the first human will be born. Beware of my words. They have many tongues like the sea. They are tomorrow's seeds, so set to enlighten many more Buddhas. My eyes are now pole stars and my breath the borderless wind. Beware, I am more alive, that, alive now than when I was alive. Beware, I, was, I am more alive now than when I was alive. Beware, beware. If, if it was a question of facing only the English, we could take the initiative instantly. We could scatter them now as we did a few months ago. But the Marathas are supporting them. And the Nizam's troops joined them a week ago. For two years, we have fought and fought well. The soldiers are now tired. For weeks, they have been sleeping on their feet. I do not know how long they can hold out. So we have no alternative but to sue for peace. Proceed, Purnaya. Purnaya, please. I, I, I cannot, Your Majesty, I cannot. I beg to be excused. All right then. I'll read it out myself. Hand me the paper. <coughs> the last condition. Two hostages to be handed over to the English to be kept with them until the terms of the treaty are agreed upon, signed and sealed. This is outrageous. How can this Two be? of my sons. No, no, no. This cannot be. This if our soldiers hear of this, they'll rise to a man and fall on the English. Please, please, your majesty, do not accept this humiliation. We would rather die. This is barbaric. Nobleman, please, silence. I beg of you. Should I send my two little boys as hostages? No, 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 no please do not accept, accept, accept Shall I then accept the destruction of our city? That's the choice before us. This is the new language that has come into our land, English. This is the culture of that language, English. Boys of seven and eight as hostages of war. How can the city wish to remain safe while the lives of our princes are in danger? Danger? Yes. But what danger? Did you not hear what Lord Cornwall has said? The English will not harm our children. They will not poison them or kill them for there is no financial profit in it. What will the John Company gain in gold and silver and land by harming my sons? They will not harm my children. The danger is, they will teach my children their language, English. I think one of the most difficult things for any human being, if I speak as an artist, is to be honest. Being honest is a, a huge challenge because we are constantly surrounded by people who say we are the best. And they say it very convincingly. And they'll make sure you believe it too. Um, therefore, honesty is not as easy as we think it is. And therefore, the craft can work. It can be appealing. It can reach. It can even touch, by the way. But it can be entirely dishonest. I think Girish was one of those rare human beings whose, I'll use a Tamil word here. There's a Tamil word called tedal, 
you could say seeking but it really doesn't work whose real seeking was honesty and it is that seeking that drove him to write to say to excavate to redefine all that he did kalabeda kalabeda kulabeda kalabeda kulabeda husiya mudigalu beda kalabeda 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 kolabeda husiya mudigalu beda muniya beda muniya beda muniya beda muniya 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 beda muniya beda asaiya pada beda muniya beda muniya beda muniya beda asaiya pada beda tanna banni sabeda 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 idiram haliyalu be ಹಳಿಗಲು ಬೇಡ ಇದೆ ಅಂತರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಇದೆ ಇದೆ ಬಹಿರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ 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 ಅಂತರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಬಹಿರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಬನ್ನಿಸಬೇಡ ಇದಿರಿ ಹಳಿಗಲು ಬೇಡ ಇದೆ ಅಂತರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಇದೆ ಇದೆ ಅಂತರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಇದೆ ಅಂತರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಬಹಿರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಇದೆ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಇದೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೂಡಲ ಸಂಗಮ ದೇವರ ಕೂಡಲ ಸಂಗಮ ದೇವರ ಕೂಡಲ ಸಂಗಮ ದೇವರ 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 ಕೂಡಲ ಸಂಗಮ ದೇವರ ನುಡಿಸುವ ಪರಿ ನುಡಿಸುವ ಪರಿ ಅಂತರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಬಹಿರಂಗ ಶುದ್ಧಿ ಇದೇ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೂಡಲ ಸಂಗಮ ದೇವರ ನುಡಿಸುವ ಪರಿ ನುಡಿಸುವ ಪರಿ ಏ